This Lenovo all-in-one computer is a prime example of the kind of things that I don't really like very much. This computer is a frameless all-in-one, so it doesn't have a large bezel around the LCD. Unfortunately, that means that there are clips here, 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 here. Yeah, there's a lot of clips. Um, you've got a hard drive in there, CD drive, RAM here if you want to upgrade. Your cooling system's here. Of course it has to be hidden behind something. That's actually the pop-out webcam. Processor's here, permanently attached to the board. Um, I'll show you how it comes apart. These two cables go down here and here on the motherboard. You have to reach in and grab them and unplug them with this stick thing here that is the stand sticking down. Take a look at this. It goes together like this. Okay. There are four screws here that you have to take out that attach to that stick stand. This is clipped over them. Then this goes in and pivots down and that's how they hide those four screws and make it look prettier. Then, once you've got that taken care of, I'm going to try to refrain from having to take this apart again because I don't fancy taking it apart at all. If you look on the bottom of the unit, you've got a headphone jack and an SD card slot. But over here is a rubber stopper with an arrow. If you pull it open, this has a Phillips head that you can turn. It rotates this release mechanism here that will push the bottom part uh, where the speaker area is forward so that you can get a pry tool in and pry it open. The biggest problem with this is that you have to be extremely careful with your pry tools, unlike how I just was. You have to be extremely careful with your pry tool not to scratch up the screen and not to crack the screen. You have to get the tool in between the seam and you have to push on the bottom of the frame, not the top where the glass is. If you push the wrong way, you'll crack the screen or at least scratch it up. You have to release these clips and it's a little easier to get the bottom ones because you're pretty courageous due to the plastic. If you start going along the sides, the glass will freak you out. But what I ran into is I got the bottom clips disengaged, I got the side clips disengaged, and then I had the thing sort of hanging up. This pole here constantly works against you. And I could not get the top clips to disengage. I didn't know exactly where they were, but they had to come loose. And I knew they probably worked the same as the side. So I had to get this in between, but I was more afraid with that than with the others to put too much pressure on it due to the potential for damage. I was right to be worried and I didn't damage anything, but what I found is that if you have the bottom sticking up, what you do is you push it back down. You actually have to hold it in this awkward manner where you're squeezing the bottom down a little bit but not enough to clip it back to make a seam where you can stick your pry tool up here at the top. Push it in and push the frame down. Once you get one of these top corner clips to let go, all the other clips become very easy and the whole top will fall out. Now, at the very end, this pole actually works for you because it can't fall out. This thing holds it. You actually need it to fall out a little bit so you can reach in and unhook these. But beyond that, this kind of becomes your best friend in the end. So, you get these two cables loose, remember where they go, and you can slide them apart just like this. And like with many other all-in-ones, all the guts are laid bare and it's pretty straightforward how to disassemble everything. From here, I'm going to put a solid state drive in here 
and that's basically it. I'm just doing a solid state upgrade. This is a brand new computer, so I was kind of taking a chance since I've never opened one of these brand new Lenovo all-in-ones, and I'm glad I took the chance that I did because it worked out. It worked out quite well. My screwdriver's not magnetized. Hang on a second. Ah, little pro tip. If you've got a nice strong permanent magnet from a hard drive, you can magnetize your screwdriver by dragging that hard drive magnet in one direction only up the screwdriver. See, that ding sound in my pocket even agrees. See, magnetized. So now I can get this hard drive box out of here. I noticed that this all-in-one, unlike the last one that I showed you, it has what appears to be probably a full-size hard drive. Now, you may be wondering, how do I get a little tiny solid-state drive the size of a laptop drive to fit where a, nor a normal big fat hard drive goes? And the answer to that is fairly simple. Yep, it's a full-size hard drive. Um, we may need to unhook something. Hang on. Oh, that's great. There's a right angle SATA connector here. There's a power connector down there. I would rather just unplug it from here if I can. Everything is taped together. Oh my god, why? Ugh. That's atrocious. Can it, can it be popped loose? Ah, it's taped. It's all taped. Okay, so take the tape off. Oh, that is some very strong tape. Oh my God. Ah, come on. Eh, needless to say that if you send it in for warranty service, they'll know you got into it. One desktop hard drive. Now, the trick to getting a solid state in here is you put the solid state down where it would normally go anyway, and you just tape it down. So their little tape trick, we can use that in our favor. Anyway, I didn't really know how to disassemble this and because it's one of those frameless designs that makes me paranoid, I did not want to disassemble it on camera. Um, it would take a while and I was a little sketchy at first about how it would come apart. But hopefully you being able to see where these clips and grooves are will help you to find the pry points. Apparently also that little rotational thing there that you use to release it can also be used to get it to clamp back down. I don't know the details and I think I may have broken that one. Um, it's kind of a dumb design in my opinion but what are you gonna do? I can only work with what they give me. So we're gonna do this solid state upgrade and that's the end of the story. Hope this helped you guys out. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to beg you for likes and comments and all that junk. But really the best thing you could do is subscribe and hit the bell and you can see more cool things. I do short films. I do little one-off random videos. Uh, I give my opinions no matter how dumb and wrong they might be. So, you know, it's a good time for all. Have a good one.